I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will try to understand all the steps required to find equation of trigonometric function especially when it's a tan function from the graph. So the question here is determine the equation of trigonometric function from the graph. Now whenever you are given a tan function since it is always increasing it is a tan graph correct. So in general we could write equation as tan x uh, <coughs> has been translated, transformed I should say, as say y equals to a times tan of k x minus p plus q, right? So in general when we have tan x as our function, in that case what are we looking for? We are looking for period of, so we say time period is pi for this and critical points are uh, minus pi by 4 minus 1 uh, 0 0 and pi by 4 1 these are the critical things which we are looking for now what are these points basically that is the most important point which gives us a lot of information so that is the point where concavity changes So let's locate this point on the graph. Concavity is kind of like this. A part of the function is kind of like this, concave down. The other part is like this, concave up. So this point is what we are looking for. Do you get the point? So in this graph, you can see very clearly that the graph goes like this. And at this point, the concavity changes. It becomes concave upwards. Here it is downwards. Do you see that? So that is the point. So this point is one of those critical points which help us to give a lot of information. So first information which it gives is how much is it above the x-axis, right? So this value is q for us. This value is q for us, which is 1. So from here, we get q equals to 1. That is one thing. Second, it also gives us how much has it changed horizontally, I mean, this position right so this position gives us the time period this is the time period right so for us time period is 3 pi minus pi which is 2 pi do you get the idea right it also gives us the phase shift p since it has moved from origin to pi so we also know that the value of p is pi pi units to the right. So we know all this from just this point. So it is the most critical point to look for on cotangent or tangent functions, right? Now let's see how to find amplitude. So you got everything, right? In one shot. K, we could calculate from T and that gives us K. K equals to uh, pi is the time period divided by T, correct? So in this case, it is pi divided by 2 pi so it is half so k is half for us now let us see how to find a we get the value of a from these two points now what are these two points these two points are actually located on quarter of the time period do you understand negative quarter i mean to the left of that and uh, we have to read how much the value is and to the positive quarter of the time period. You get the idea. Negative quarter means time period for us is 2 pi, right? So 2 pi by 4, that is quarter of t. Do you see that t by 4 is 2 pi by 4 or pi by 2, correct? Okay? So we have to see pi by 2 to the left and pi by 2 to the right. Now in this particular case, those are the points which we are looking for. So if I move pi by 2 to the left and then see the point, then this is the point, correct? And pi by 2 to the right will give me a point which is right there, right? So that is the point. So these are the two points which are on a similar position on tan x. Do you understand? Now, the value of A basically is the change in 
change in height. So that means there is a stretch factor. Do you understand this stretch factor? So instead of 1, normally it is 1, it is 2. Correct? Since this stretch factor is 2, the value of A is 2. Do you get the point? So that is how we find it. So when you do left 2 units, you are coming at minus 1, 2 units down. Do you understand the meaning of what I'm trying to do? So it is quarter from the midpoint, pi, right? So pi minus that much. So that is that is how you should be looking at. So once we get the value of a also, we can write down our tan function, right? So now I can, with all this information, write down this function as y equals to a is 2 for me, tan k value is half x minus pi and it moved one unit up plus one right so that is how you can get the equation of tangent graph i have a couple of videos on this and i think you will understand the whole concept if you go through a couple of them since i'm emphasizing on on different parameters in different videos i think that will help thank you and all the best